Welcome back everyone, this is Jamie Reviews, I am James Michael, and well, today is the day. As the title shows, I will be reviewing a shoe from Skechers. Yup, I said it, Skechers. And with this much pressure, I had to bring in some backup. Meet Jennifer. She enjoys syrup on both pancakes and waffles. And she has won Austin's Capital 10K race two years in a row. That's back to back like Jordan in 96, 97. So Skechers have been making running shoes for years now. And more and more runners are starting to give them a shot. And well, Skechers, this is your shot. This is our review of the Skechers Go Run Ride 7. So Skechers have been pushing out their knit uppers across the performance line. And in the Go Run Ride 7, we found it to be pretty impressive. Knit uppers seem to be the thing for running shoes these days. And I think the Ride 7 got it right. It's fairly breathable throughout the shoe and has a decent amount of stretch to it that can fit a variety of people. Yet, it is still structured enough to keep your foot in place. And the welded overlay that goes into the laces helps give the upper a bit of stability. And the toe box is wide enough to provide a good amount of room for your feet, which is great for longer runs when you may need the extra room. And the overall fit was actually really good. And there is just enough padding in the heel and in the tongue to keep the shoe comfortable, yet not overly invasive, which helps the shoe maintain that light and nimble feel. So the lacing on the shoe is pretty basic, not much to be upset with. And the heel cup was sturdy and kept the shoe locked in. And as far as looks, it's not the best looking shoe, but it fits great. We had no hot spots, no rubbing, and we got a pull tab. And you know I enjoy pull tabs. So yeah, the upper was cool, I guess for a Skechers. So the midsole uses Skechers Flight Gen technology. Skechers claims that it's supposed to be a lightweight and responsive cushioning. But you know, don't they all say that? So while running, we felt that the cushioning was all right. And by that, I mean pretty good. The ride of the shoe was smooth. Like I almost can't believe it's not butter smooth. The overall feel of the shoe is a bit more on the softer side, particularly in the forefoot, but it still had a bit of a response to it. For how much mental there is, it never felt sloppy. In a way, it kind of gave me flashbacks to that Clifton 1 feeling, but with a bit more response. On the longer, slower runs, the shoe can handle the mileage and provide comfort. And when you need to pick up the pace, it can still do the job. But wait, there is more. Skechers try to pull a fast one. So like many running shoes, there is an insole that is removable. Nothing new. But apparently, in the Gold Run Ride 7, it's made to where you can actually run in the shoe without the insole for a more responsive ride. And I was a bit skeptical. So I had to try it out for myself. And by golly, the ride of the shoe was actually just as good if not better. So if you're not into having that extra cushion in your shoe, taking out the insole really gave the shoe a different feel. It still had enough of that cushion feel, but with a new level of responsiveness. It was almost like having two shoes in one. The Flight Gym midsole was pretty balanced. It provided some protection, some response, a good amount of cushion, and a pretty smooth ride. The outsole of the shoe uses extended rubber with a flex groove pattern. Traction wise, it wasn't anything to run home about, but it did well on typical surfaces. Road, grass, dirt, just keep it basic. The flexibility of the shoe was okay. It has a little bit of flex in the toe. And while running, our foot transition felt normal. So it wasn't too much of a thing to worry about. So some things to keep in mind. The sizing of the shoe is fairly true to size. If you take out the top insole, you're gonna have a tad more space in the shoe than normal. It's not a dramatic change, but it is something to keep in mind. So the Go Run Ride 7 is a solid all around shoe with a bit more emphasis on the cushion side. It can handle your long runs, faster paces, and can be a workhorse for those who are looking for that one shoe that can get you through a training cycle or through a weekend run with your dog. The fit is great, the ride is smooth, and if this same exact shoe had a swoosh on it, I wouldn't even hesitate to give the shoe their approval. And right now, the hype beast inside of me is hurting. But when I found out that this shoe was only $90, I realized something needed to be done. Something different. So no, giving this shoe the normal approval isn't quite gonna cut it. So when it comes to the Skechers Go Run Ride 7, Skechers, you guys earn this one. Outstanding. Thanks for watching, and shout out to Jen for offering her time and energy for making this video happen. After a 14 mile run on her day off, she is the real MVP. And if you happen to be in Austin, Texas, be sure to check out the locally owned running shop, Ready to Run. It is a great running store for all your running nonsense. And if you come by, ask for the manager. She's really nice, I promise. Anyway, links to the shoes and social media will be in the description box down below. And if you wanna help build the channel to new heights, go ahead and click that subscribe button. All right guys, as always, I will see you all in the comments down below. Later.